Hello, good day, guys. Today we'll be discussing um, three abnormalities, and I think it will be coupled up with coupled up with the neuroanatomical basis. So the first one we have on our list is Agai Robertson pupil. The next one is Arnold Cherry malformation, and the third one is Pontus cerebellar syndrome. Okay. So these are the three things that we'll be discussing today. And um, this is our YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, kindly do subscribe to our YouTube channel. So um, the question in full was, write anatomical basis for signs and symptoms of Agai Robinson um, pupil, anotary malformation, and pontus cerebral syndrome. Okay, so we'll be starting with the first one. Uh, what is Agai Robinson pupil? Uh, first of all, um, it is a popularly light popularly light and um, near reflex dissociation, okay? It is a lesion in the what, um, pupillary reflex center. That's a protectile nucleus in the midbrain, okay? And the part of light reflex is disrupted, uh, but the part of accommodation reflex remains intact, okay? So as the pathway does not involve the pre... Okay, as the pathway does not involve the protectile nucleus, Okay? So um, this is uh, the part we, the part of right light reflex is disrupted, but the part of accommodation is remain remains intact in agar Robertson pupil. So as a consequence, the pupillary constriction is um, in response to light is lost, but accommodation is retained. Okay, such a pupil is known as what agar Robertson pupil. I don't know if I have. Okay, so um, this is an image I have. You could see that. Um, when you shine a light on somebody's eye, uh, even when you shine it closely, the person's eye will not constrict like a normal eye, okay? But when you show the person an object to look at, the object you call, we, we are like the person's eye will constrict, okay, to focus on a nearby object. But the person's eye is not sensitive to eye, to, to light. So that is the Agai Robinson pupil syndrome. Okay, so it may be Present in tertiary syphilis, diabetes mellitus, and lupus erythematosus. Okay, so this is uh, the image for Agai Robinson pupil. If you don't understand what I have said, you could just um, try to comprehend from the image. So we'll be going to the next factor, guys, and uh, this is um, anotary malformation. Uh, the anotary malformation is a congenital anomaly in which there is herniation of the tonsils of the cerebellum, okay, and the medulla oblongata through the foramen magnum into the vertebral canal, okay. So uh, before I continue, I'll just try to show you guys the image. Uh, this is a normal cerebellum. You could see a normal cerebellum. And uh, you could see, um, ca can you guys notice this space here, this blue space there? Can you see that um, in anotary malformation, there's a herniation, like there's a backward movement of this cerebellum and it's not just the cerebellum to be specific you said that the tonsils of the cerebellum now what are the tonsils of the cerebellum can you see the image of the cerebellum here now look around the cerebellum you see some things like some folds okay that's what we call the tonsils of the cerebellum okay now uh, this results in what blockage of the exits in the roof of the fourth ventricle to the cerebrospinal fluid causing internal hydrocephalus okay now it is commonly associated with what cranial vertebral anomalies or various forms of spinal bifida. Okay, I've explained this image already. Then we'll go to the third concept. Uh, okay, uh, signs and symptoms of uh, anotary malformation. We say that um, the signs and symptoms is related to what pressure in the cerebellum and medulla oblongata and involvement of the last four cranial nerves. Okay, um, associated with the uh, condition so last four cranial nerves that's cranial nerve 12 cranial nerve 11 cranial nerve 10 cranial nerve what nine okay so um it's good for you as a medical student to be able to know all the 12 cranial nerves okay so that they don't really mention them by names you just mention them by number all right so going to the last um concept guys and this is the pontocerebral cerebral syndrome uh, we say that um, the anatomical structure located in the pontal cerebral angle include what? The choroid plexus. I know that the choroid plexus is what um, forms the cerebrospinal fluid. All right. 
and in the pontus cerebral angle you can still find um the fourth ventricle you could find the floccules and you could find um the fifth and eighth cranial nerves okay now um, a tumor or acoustic neuroma in the angle arises usually in relation towards cranial nerve 8. Now, what are the features of this pontus cerebral syndrome? You see that um, there's ipsilateral facial paralysis, okay? That's an um, ipsilateral lower motor neuron type of facial palsy due to involvement of the facial nerve. You know, the facial nerve supply the muscles of the face. So, if the facial nerve is, is, is uh, lesioned or affected, you know that um, the nerve supply to the face will be impaired, okay? Now, this is due to involvement of facial nerve and loss of taste in the anterior to third of the tongue and hyperacusis due to damage of the facial nerve fibers, okay? So, um, this is a pontus cerebral syndrome. You could see that the picture I have here is like actually um, some children affected by this syndrome. Uh, you could see that um, they can't really control the muscles of their face. Uh, mostly their mouth is left open because they can't really control the muscles of the mouth too. Okay, so um, also there will be deafness and vertigo. Uh, this is due to what? Um, damage to both parts of cranial nerve 8. There will be ipsilateral ataxia due to involvement of the flocculus. Um, there is ipsilateral loss of pain and temperature sensation on the face. And loss of corneal reflex due to involvement of the spinal tract and nucleus of the trigeminal nerve. You know, the trigeminal nerve supply the muscles of the face too. Okay. So, with these guys, we are done answering our question on these um, three factors I've just discussed. Okay. So see you guys in the next tutorial and bye for now.